Hello, and welcome back to my first recording in a while on just my controller. Angie and the others must be back at the back gate, but now ready to go, Reed? This is it, the sess of the da 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 Let's go. All right, I'm going to turn this up a little well, bit. Here we are, back where it all started, Thor's Military Academy. A place where we went from strangers to classmates to friends. I've got so many memories, I wouldn't know where to start. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Same here. And here I was thinking I was too young to get nostalgic. It's strange to think we were here only two months ago. It really is. It feels like it's been so much longer. This is it. The moment of truth. Let's go. The place where our class <coughs> first began, where we first met, is right in front of us. And we're going to take it back. Let's go, everyone! All right! I'm excited. If anyone's wondering why, sorry I'm gonna go ahead and say it, but the last two videos, or three videos, was silent because apparently my headphones are on mute. We've been and waiting only one for you, class seven. One side of the headphones is working, so well, I'll be doing it this way, which is a little more pleasant for me. Hopefully, the same or better for you, because I don't have to hurt my ears. At least, still, I can get better, uh, another set of headphones. Patrick, hey Patrick, where's SpongeBob? I'm just kidding. I like Patrick. Uh. It's been some time, Schwarza. You know I hadn't the faintest doubt that you and your classmates would eventually be here. Nevertheless, you, you have our congratulations for doing so. Ah, uh, Celestine. Oh, hello, Celestine. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that none of you have changed. Adel, you look well, Fee. <laughs> I'm sure the flowers will be so happy to see you back home. Mark! I'm not saying it. Well, you certainly I won't look say ready it. for us. Let's just say Adel really fills out that uniform. Although, judging by what you said earlier, you must have predicted we were coming. Probably before the battle on the East Highway even began, too. Who do you take us for? We know your class better than anyone. There was absolutely zero chance of you passing up a move to take back the Academy. Once the Alliance left it in our care. Better believe it. Naturally, we took precautions on the other side of the Academy as well. Huh? I figured as much. Right, we're in. I hope we and the others are okay. <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting to simply waltz in here without even the slightest resistance. Potentious voice. If it isn't my most exquisite rival, Angelica, our reunion could never be more perfect. Okay, let me think. The four great houses are Alberea, High Arms, Cayenne, and Florald, right? I think he, his house is the other of the four great houses. And I see you burst into the scene, flourishing only the finest in company. Welcome, Class 7, to the forbidden paradise of the noble Vincent Florald! Oh, great. It's you. <laughs> well, you're one of the last people I expected to bump into here. No, it's not Florald, it's Rogner. Yes, because it's Angelica. Right, Alvareo, Rogner, High Arms, and Cayenne. Those are the four great houses noble houses. Guess our attempt to sneak in was a total bust. Well, that's putting it one way. So it appears. <laughs> you are beautiful, yes. But you could never hope to surpass my great intellect. Go on. Don't be shy. Shower me with praise. <laughs> I see quite a few familiar faces here. <laughs> what a joy it is to see you again, Yusuf. Hey, Lambert. It's a shame Loggins and Alan aren't with you. Still, looks like the present company should pose enough of a challenge to keep me interested. 
I'm honored the strongest swordsman among the second years would say so. Wow. Man, this isn't going to be as easy as I was hoping it would be. Master Patrick, the battle should be in full swing on the other side by now. Then shall we begin as well? Bo. Fit, man, he's going fist. Oh no. You set on fighting us? <laughs> we are the ones entrusted with looking after this academy after all. It wouldn't be much of an order if we simply allowed intruders to wander in unopposed. Maybe, but the Alliance forces who gave you that task are long gone. We're all students here. Why do we need to keep fighting? We aren't doing this because we were ordered to, Schwarzo. We're doing this because we're upper-class students. Call us obstinate, call us fools, call us whatever you will. Neither the will of the Alliance nor my father's desires are of concern to me. We are nobles, and we feel both pride and honor in our social standing. I'm just gonna say, I like that Patrick and Class 1 are essentially rivals of Class 7 and Rin, respectively. You know, like, it's a nice touch. You know, obviously they're, they're important characters, maybe not as important, but they do matter. And if you take the time to get to know them, we wish right. to know what cause we must take up arms for, by virtue of that pride and honor. Let's go. And we intend to find it by facing you. I'm gonna one You're shot making all. You've thought long and hard about this, haven't you? So that's why. I understand how you must feel, Patrick. But sorry, but we intend to fight just as obstinately for our cause. It's interesting. We're going to I take back Emma the Emma said a This is our home. And if fighting you is all it takes to get what we want, then that's exactly what we'll do. We believe in our reasons, just as strongly as you believe in yours. That's why we came all the way here. <laughs> I would expect no less from our student council president, or from class seven, our worthy rivals. Celestine, get ready. As you wish, Master Patrick. That... that's a combat link. When did you start using that? I didn't know you could use an horrible staff, Adel. I'm not as devoted to improving my skill with it as I am to caring for the flowers, though. Do go easy on me, won't you? We have our pride. Our honor and our strength, while you have yours. Let's go. Let's see who comes out on top, Rain Schwarzer. Bring it on, Patrick. Hopefully the echo for this isn't that much. Then let the ball commence. Follow my lead, Sarifa. On the name of House Florald, we shall not allow them to take another step farther. Of course, Master Vincent. It's almost reassuring to see how little you change. I shall follow you. Ha! You're gonna need to fight your best, because we sure will be. Let's go, guys. Right behind you. No matter who stands in our way, we shall overcome. We uh. shall never back down. Get the feeling of overprepared to see the underprepared of my other team. <laughs> I don't have any. All right. I'm not so worried about, um... Right. Go ahead and say. Hang in there! This is my turn. Now is our chance! Don't let it hurt us! Get out! Get out! Get out! Leave this to me! Alright. Get out of here! Keep going, son. Sweet dreams, pussy cats. This one looks dangerous. Here Be go. careful. Oh, it does it? All right. All right. Let's do this. Leave it to me. Oh! 
Mr. Patrick. Patrick. What now, Patrick? We did it. That was... We did it! We sure did. Looks like we're the victors this time. Why? I fought with all I had! Why was I not victorious? My, my. You've grown so very strong, haven't you? This can't be happening. First I lost during that practical exam. And now I've lost again? Master Patrick, please, raise your head. You may have been bested, but you've no reason at all to feel ashamed. Defeat shouldn't always be equated with embarrassment. You gave this fight your all, and for that, you should be proud. Damn it! It looks like I should stick to flowers and stay away from fighting after all. Well, we're done here. Would you like to go and see the flowers, Fee? They've sorely missed you. Some things never change. Burn, what a splendid sight to behold! Principal Bandic? Instructor Makarov? It's Van Dyke. I thought you were all locked up. What if they're gonna give him voices? Hey, good to see you kids again. What? We did as we were asked to witness the battle from inside, and what a fine battle it was. Both sides fought with all their might. Each and every one of you deserved to hold your head up high. Take it from me, Patrick. You showed all the truce to the spirit of a true noble. <sighs> Wait a second. Patrick, was this your doing? Correct. As soon as the Alliance withdrew, Master Patrick and the other upper-class students released the instructors at once. They were merely asked to remain inside until this battle met its end. Wow. Hm. We played our part by watching the other battle taking place too. Hey! Angie! Beatrix! And Vice Principal Heinrich too! <laughs> no broken bones, I hope. Nah, we're good. <laughs> we just wrapped things up on our end not too long ago. Only to find out that these two had been keeping an eye on us this whole time. My blade was utterly useless against her overwhelming splendor. <gasps> what a tragedy. Master Vincent, I'm afraid that comes to the surprise of no one here. <laughs> one would be a fool to say otherwise after comparing your abilities. Oh! Woe is me! 
<laughs> There's no need to be so blunt, Sarifa. Why in Adios's name do I have to watch this tomfoolery? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Good on you for agreeing to, though. Oh, you're all here. <laughs> nice work, guys. It seemed like you were done over here, so we came to take a peek. Our champions have been decided! What a wholly inspiring display of youthful vim and vigor! Indeed. I wonder why he doesn't have a voice. Patrick Hyams is one of those who valiantly fought by his side. The battle of wills has been fought and the victory is clear. What will you do? Uh, Master Patrick. What if Rain just like after all this just cuts him down? <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Schwarzer? Like his ogre power takes over and just kills him? I'm just kidding, you wouldn't do that. Did you not learn your lesson from the last time you tried to hold your hand out to me after battle? I don't think you can compare this to the battle back then. Sure, we fought before, but this is the first time we did so without holding ourselves back. I like this, and it's just, it has the sunlight in the background, it's such a scenic and shot. it's the first time we did so while regarding one another as true equals. Maybe you couldn't take my hand after that fight, but I think you can now. <laughs> <sighs> you will never cease to be an irritant, I'll have you know. Yes, epic. I hereby proclaim the Order of the Lion disbanded. All upper-class students will assemble under the leadership of Student Council President Herschel. Now, all students, regardless of class, shall righteously fight under one banner as bearers of the Horned Lion Crest. Yes! Yes! Academy liberated. Let's go. Thank you, Patrick. I like how they handled this. How they handled all the NPC, like, because you... I'll have none of that from you. Because not every character in the game, especially in the school, has a has a name. So how they handle that is, is all the ones without names, official names, were stuck, while all the ones with names escaped, minus the select few that we just fought. <laughs> Which is we funny. Finally made it. Feels damn good to actually succeed in what we set out to do. We really have. Yep, now crows up there in the sky. Eh. I'm just All of us. It feels so good to know that Thors can finally be together as one again. That's right. But this isn't over yet. Our lives in Trista were simple but full of happiness. We've taken back our home, and now it's time we take back our happiness. Let's go. Run! Run! It was a Epic. long and difficult journey, but we were finally able to take back the academy we had longed to return to. The cheers and tears of joy continued well into the night. Cheers and tears. With every single one of us, commoner and noble, feeling an overwhelming sense of pride to be a student of Thor's military academy. Yes. What's more, our victory renewed our hope for the future. So long as we were united, we had the will to work towards putting things right at last. And thus, Act 2 officially came to an end. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Upper rank you go! 
Yes. Here's a bonus from the academy. Ooh. Wow, that must have been tough. Yeah, I don't think there's a way for me to. I'm so proud of you, Rain. So good. I'm not doing bad for a vanilla playthrough without looking much up. It's finally time. Something I've been waiting for all this time. Yo, they got a hot pot? Oh, I should probably say, I'm recording this the night of New Year's Eve, by the way. So. <laughs> yes! That was Becky and Hugo. Oh, it's the guy! It's the violin or the the fiddleist. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute! I was like, ah, 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 ah. As Valimard looks down, just like, well, what is it that you want to do? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> be back and looking around I'm not alone in that sentiment either maybe it won't last but everyone's determined to enjoy it to the fullest while they can yes after all who knows what tomorrow will bring I knew things wouldn't instantly go back to normal but I didn't expect all that to be thrown on us hmm oh what's happening five hours earlier Oh, I know what's happening next. Yep, gotcha. You want us to help liberate the capital? Nice segue. With Ruhr and Berea hard silent, we have a firm foothold to take back Heimdall. If we don't seize the moment before the year is up, there's every chance the war will drag on even longer as a result. Fighting is still brutal as ever in Western Erebonia, but if the Nortia and Kreutzen provincial armies keep their word not to interfere, we may be able to turn the war around. Hmm. That does sound like the best chance we'll ever get, but I still have doubts. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We have no intention of taking an active role in the war. We simply wish to fulfill our duties as Military Academy students. And that's exactly what we did. We liberated the, the school. That sounds perfectly fine to me. We aren't asking you to fight on the front lines to retake the city. Rather, we would like you, the students of Thor's Military Academy, to liberate one very specific location. Yeah? And where might that be? I'll be the one explaining that. Oh, of course you would. Hey, Lecter. You're here too? You're from the Intelligence Division. Huh. Hi, Elector. Long time no see. You back from Crossbell? Yep. The most pressing problem over there is all taken care of now. So, I was finally able to access the Intelligence Division's network again. Wait a second. Most pressing problem? 
What happened over there? Other than the Azure tree? Well, you know, that Azure tree is gone. There was a ton of confusion after its disappearance, but President Kreuss has been arrested, and things are beginning to calm down. We had no idea. I remember feeling an incredible amount of mana from that tree. Whatever happened there, it's obvious Ouroboros was involved. Regardless of how it came to happen, the fact remains. Crossbell is of no danger to us now. Yet with that comes new dangers on the horizon. What do you mean, Dad? Now that Crossbell is no longer a threat, there's every chance the Calvert Republic might make a move, is that correct? The Republic still has its own share of chaos as a result of their economic crisis and terrorism. But now that there's an opening to take Crossbell, we've no doubt they will recover sooner rather than later. And without Gorelia Fortress to serve as an effective deterrent, there's always the possibility they could use Crossbell as a staging area to launch a military incursion into Erebonia. As a result, our primary concern is ending this war as soon as possible. Yup. And we could use your assistance in bringing it to an ever swifter conclusion. I understand the situation. In that case, where is this specific location that you'd like us to liberate? That would be the Corel Imperial Villa. Hey, isn't that... That's the Imperial family's villa on the outskirts of the city, right? Are you suggesting that my family is at the villa? We believe your assumption to be correct, Your Highness. Huh. The Intelligence Division has established that His Imperial Majesty and the rest of your family have been imprisoned there. Lady Elise Schwarzer and Imperial Governor Regnitz are also with them. <gasps> Dad's there too? They've been there this whole time? It's close to the capital, but it's surrounded on all sides by cliffs and the like. That makes it the perfect place to keep VIPs hidden away. Exactly. The only way to access it via land is a special train that runs from Heimdall Station, and that is currently heavily secured by the Imperial Guard. However, were your party to use the Courageous to fly there, you should be able to get inside. I think you already know our answer. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> what if the what if theory is like, no? Guys, they all turn to Leo like, what? I said, no active part of the war. What do you not get about? If you about say that? they're there, Lecter, then they're there. It's not much different from liberating Ruwer or the Twin Dragon's Bridge, if we think of it like rescuing someone related to us. Indeed. While the Imperial family is naturally of great importance, rescuing a member of the Board of Directors fits our motives to a T. <laughs> and we've always seen it as our duty to help those related to the Academy. Guess that settles that. Uh, thank you. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> well, aren't we being humble? This is what friends do. To think these kids would turn out to be so dependable. You're telling me. They're almost dazzling. It's almost like they're, they're protagonists of some kind of story. <laughs> your Highness, may we have your permission to move forward? Uh. Yes, by all means. Uh. I, Alfin Rice Arner, Humbly request that you carry out this mission. You got it. Very well, your highness. Students of Thor's Military Academy, I hereby declare that we shall dedicate our all to the liberation of the Corral Imperial Villa. Really is strange. For all I know, tomorrow could determine the outcome of this war. Yet I feel completely at peace, just being back here, seeing the sky, and being surrounded by this cool air, makes me feel so happy. Why? You're not planning on standing here alone the whole night, are you? Oh, hey Celine, where's Emma? Who knows, I'm guessing she's over in the literature club's room. One of the second years dragged her off. Something about checking if any of her precious book collection had vanished. <laughs> that would be Dorothy. <laughs> I don't know. I could wander around, but my head's kind of full at the moment. 
It's like it's suddenly registering just how much this academy means to me. I knew I liked it, but I never realized how much. Oh? Well, whatever you end up doing tonight, make it count. With both Vita and Ouroboros involved, you haven't seen the worst this war has to offer. The hardest part's yet to come. I mean... You could die. And you don't want to face your friend in the goofy bandana weighed down by regrets, do you? Goofy bandana. True enough. Oh, hey, are you here because you were worried about me? You've always been so considerate of us, even if you do try to hide it by acting grumpy half the time. Stop that! You can't go around being nice to every girl you run into. Try treating someone special for once. Surely there's someone who fits that description better than me. Someone special, huh? This could be the last night you have to enjoy before everything goes to hell. Go and walk around a bit already. Oh, and go pay Valimar a visit too. Huh. Honestly, anyone with half a brain could have figured that out. Why do I have to be the one to tell you? I, I don't know. Why do you? Hmm. Also, the I suppose she's right. It seems a shame to waste a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing around here alone. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get to the rest of the games. Besides, it's been a long time since I was last here at the Academy. I should walk around and see everyone. Yes. I've got a lot of catching up to do with the people in Trista. And after Valimar offered to stand guard near the west exit, it wouldn't feel right to leave him by himself the whole night. You got it? You know, you quick travel to Trista in the Academy. Okay, well, there's somewhere I gotta be. Hey, what's up, guys? Goodness, I never imagined that it would be possible, but even she's more fiercer than before. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Come on, man, you're alright. <laughs> no, you may not. Oh, come on, I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm just a little tired. Yep. Uh huh. Just having a comb come back to you. That's exactly right. But there's something I need to do, and it takes precedent. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, I could probably fish here. Alright. <laughs> it's time to fish. Jeez, bro! Make me fight! This is a big one! Ooh, yeah, you're worth fishing. I wonder if you guys can hear that. This tapping. is a big one. Probably. Big 
town. Oh. All right, real quick. Begin battle with stealth, effect last one turn. Begin battle with art strength and speed raise. That's. Alright. There's one more place I gotta go. Yep. Cool. This spot looks perfect. This spot looks perfect for fish. All right. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? This is got about to be some real intense fishing. Got it. Not what I had in mind. All right. Now to go back. Oh, I could probably fish here. Yep. Can I go to the? Oh, I can. I can go to the old schoolhouse. Oh, you guys are all up here. Hi, Rain. Hey, nice night, isn't it? Uh, it's a little on the chilly side, but it still feels pretty nice since there's no breeze out. Oh yeah, you're right. This is actually making me a little emotional. It's not like I want to cry anytime soon or anything like that, but... <laughs> We're finally back here. Yeah. Yeah, got to admit, seeing it again is making me feel all emotional. <laughs> no doubt. Especially since, unlike the rest of us, you guys were last here during the festival. You're probably feeling lonely with Crow missing. Toa, George, Angelica, I want to thank you. Huh? What for? You guys have helped us out so much. There's no way we could have gone that far without you. If it were just us first years, I don't think things would have gone half as well. Oh. So, on behalf of everyone here, thank you for everything you've done. We should be the ones thanking you. Yeah. Think about all the work Class 7 put into this and try saying that again. Exactly. You guys even helped me deal with my old man. Where would I be without you? I guess. 
But for the record, we've needed you just as much as you say you need us, you know. You shouldered the most responsibility on the Courageous, the ship that carried us and our dreams this far. And I'm gonna need you to keep watching our backs tomorrow. You think you can do that for us? <laughs> like you even had to ask. We'll be right there with you. We would never abandon you after we've come this far together. Yeah. Thanks. I get this feeling like tomorrow's going to mark a turning point for us. Whether the Imperial Army's operation is a success or a failure, it feels like the time for me to fight Crow is almost here. That's true. <laughs> yeah, he won't let a chance like this just waltz on by. And this time, I'm not going to let him win. I'll beat him, drag him right back here, and force him to finally graduate with you. <laughs> you sure that's even possible, Reen? Darn right it is. That's not going to be... I'm well aware that it won't be easy. But everyone, not just me, wants the four of you together again. Class 7 managed to reunite, right? Now it's your turn. You're amazing, Reen. And if you say that's what you're gonna do, I've got no reason to doubt you. Good luck! <laughs> Tomorrow's operation is sounding crazier by the minute. Seriously. I better hope I can finish polishing off that Tachi. <laughs> Our conversation finally finished. Hello, back to the student council room to dutifully go over the plans for tomorrow once again. Got it. I'm curious if it'll let me go in. Oh. Oh, so this is where you were checking up on the old schoolhouse? Hmm. Why don't you give her which thing the rest for the night? Man. Hey, that Belmar. was good. Hello, Reen. I came to see how you were holding up. Sure was a surprise when you offered, but thanks for volunteering to serve as a lookout. <laughs> no problem. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Yeah. Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. I simply wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrate that achievement. <laughs> Thanks. You know, looking back, I never figured the day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to dignified, I suppose. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time. And while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. Really? <clears throat> Does that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago. And my previous awakener was a man known as Drunkles Rice Arner. Bum, bum, bum! Wow. So it really was Drunkles, huh? I had my suspicions when I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that reside within the Kumi grounds. Drangles visited the spirit shrines as you did. In each one, he obtained the same core with which to forge his weapon, advanced upon the same capital, and it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the war to rest in one final confrontation. Yes! He really is like Drangle! It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are, but it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. I doubt we're doing all this half as well as he did. What kind of person was he, anyway? Hmm. He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man, full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was kind of Again, I want to see it. I want to see young Dracos. He looks so cool. He had dignity in measure with his stature. And still at times, one could see in his eyes the glimmer of a child's. <laughs> he was really something, wasn't he? 
Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. But maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little need in striving to be something you are. Huh? Since my awakening, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. I am... Rightless found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different, possess strengths no less right. Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and no other. Take pride in those who become your sword, for not even he can buy the world to you or uh. Heck yeah, dude. Thanks, Valimar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, it wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Oh, yeah. It sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning. So if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall do all within my power. Man, why are people launching fireworks? Give me a time. It's 7.40. A new year isn't... Until... Hours. Okay. Alright, so we're at 46 minutes. I think I'm going to save it here. And I will continue this next time. But real quick. You're a weird kid, you know that? I hear you were gathering information on the war and passing into Principal Van Dyke. Look at that. Yes, that's about the best setup I can hope for. Oh, let's go have stuff like this. Well, I've really gotten stronger since I was away. Patch has gotten a little tougher and a little less of a. for a little show to see what everyone's up to. Yeah, I guess I shouldn't be surprised you're passing the time with good friend Mr. Booze. <laughs> you better not ask me a uh, me. Uh-huh. 
You could be a gentleman and score some bounty points with your poor teacher. I mean, how about giving me an excuse to blow this joint? Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, it tells me who I can spend the night with. Oh, wow. Only got two choices. Ooh, tough break. I mean, here's the thing. I... Oh, thank you. I enjoy... I like Toa. Okay. I think she's adorable, she's fun to be around. It's Thor, one of Thor's little heroes! Man, setting up the energy jelly. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Now, I love Toa. I think she's a great character. She, she's funny, and you know, all, all, hey, hey, uh, as long as she gets on. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> hey, what's up, Prince? What brings you here to the principal's office? Uh huh. I'm sorry if you feel that way, Your Highness. I understand that'll be too risky to take me along with you. Anyways. Ah, oh, Schwarzer, you know, we're just going over the day's events. The battle between yourself? Yep. I uh, couldn't do anything for you, or my dear friend Otto, whose death I just received word of. Yep. Yep. Please rest easy and let us take care of things from here. Yep. As soon as we reunited again, I know we can make a change. I wish you all luck as you will. But I also really like Sarah. Like, and since apparently they're my only two options, I mean, I think both are great. I think both are fun characters. Hard to say which one I like more. I think Toa plays more personality-wise to girls that I like. I, she, I just like the sweet kind of girl. Like, yeah, cool. Well, time for the next one. Hey, guys. But, you know. Hey, Nikolai. Nicholas. No. Oh. Anyways. What's up, you two? Yeah. Uh, what brought that on? They're gonna be full of lovey dovey couples, I can tease. Come on, Vivi, that's just mean. Anyways, again. But it just, you know... Hey, Dorothy. Hee 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 hee. Celine? What is Celine? 
Sling, what brings you here? <laughs> yeah, poor Celine. So much you have to leave me with a nut job. Yep. All right, let's play some chess. All right, so Toa, what you doing, girl? Uh, I'll stick with Sarah. Oh, I thought he was holding a puppy. I was like, whoa. I was like, that's cool. But no, it's not a puppy. Hey, we're almost done. Almost done. Oh, hey, I wonder if I can, uh... Cool. Courtyard. A barrel. Oops, we're gonna have to have Of course you'd be in here, yeah, 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 yeah. Monica? Academy Field. <laughs> no need for words, but Cole Mom as happy as you are! Yep, could get all of us. Uh... Alright. So now, uh, okay, mom and dad will never change. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, 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 that's right. I like that every time they go off on a field study, uh, the couple there is being lovey-dovey in the morning. It's so funny. Alright, anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Adios and mwah.